So today we will going to learn how you can create internal links within a page. So I created a page called names.htm beforehand and I've created a link in all of my pages so that everything is linked back to names. And what I'm planning on doing over here is to do something that you may have seen in frequently asked questions where you click on a link up top and it jumps to the stuff at the bottom. So what I would like to do over here, just create a little bit uh, of a similar pattern here. So I'm going to introduce something by names. And I would like to create a navigation of letters. So I'll just do for like three letters. And I'll make a couple of the letters links and I'm going to leave one of them as not a link. So we will be able to click on a particular letter and it's going to take us to the list of the names that fall in that category. So to start, we would like to start with the first category, H3, um, with letter A. And we're going to put some names in the letter A category. Similarly, we will going to take this and we're going to create another category of names for letter B and similarly for letter C. So we have for letter B and then we have for letter C and for letter C. So here we have created for three letters and as I said earlier I am planning on also incorporating some letters that do not have uh, so I'm going to just get rid of the letter C because I want to have a letter which doesn't have a link down there so uh, we'll just get rid of that portion for now. So anyway we're going to now start producing a link here. So we're going to put a link with A. And similarly, we're going to put a link with B. And we're going to leave C as it is, untouched. So now what I want to do is I would like to click on A and I would like to jump to the names that start with letter A. And similarly, I want to click on B and jump to the names that start with letter B. In order to do so, we take help from a property in HTML called ID, which is used to name sections of a page. So I would like to come down here in the A section and I'd like to give it an ID A. I'd like to come down in the B section and I'd like to give it an ID called B. So I have basically put IDs in each one of the areas where C section doesn't really exist. So it's not a link. Similarly, I'm going to come down over here, come up over here and I'm going to link it to the region A. So whenever you're linking to a region, you must use a pound sign. Similarly, I'm going to link this to the region B. And at the same time, I'm going to have a link that allows me to scroll back up to the list like the FAQ does. So for that purpose, I'm going to call this names region. I'm going to give it a name called top. And similarly, I'm going to just put a link before I start each naming category called top. So that will allow me to move and jump to the top of the page. Now having said that, now I would like to run this page, but since I have a green color for my links in the body, the same green color will now going to apply over here. But I would also like to give colors to my square brackets which will going to appear in, in black color or the letter C or the, or the pipes if I do not give them a color. So I'm going to use CSS style property to give the color green to these links as well. Okay, so now let's run it in a browser. So now when I'm running it in a browser, this is where my page looks like. Notice letters A and B are underlined because they're links. Letter C is not underlined because it's not a link. So if I click on letter A, 
notice that it takes me to all the letters that belong to A. So if I click top, it just jumps a little bit, as you can see. Let me reduce the size of the screen a little bit more so you could see the actual um, working of this code. So if I click on B, notice how it jumps, and I'm in the letter B. If I click on top, it would jump to names again. If I click on A, now A comes right up top. But if I click on top, now the, the names heading comes up top. So it allows me to jump back and forth within a page. So hope you would have learned how to create internal links here. And you can just take it to as far as you want to take it. Well, hope to see you in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.